So good evening, everybody. <laughs> we'll start with our new session of the Organa, and we're discussing the practical part of the Organa of Medicine. Last three lectures, we are dealing with the only one aphorism, that is aphorism number 149, 48, I think. 148 is a big aphorism where footnote is also mentioned. And this aphorism defines you exactly the concept of disease. In fact, the dynamic concept of disease, which Hanuman have explained in detail. He denied the complete aspect of a material cause of the disease in this aphorism. And he has completely written it as a new aphorism in the sixth edition of Organ of Medicine, denying his old, old concept of the material cause of the disease. And he explains each and every disease generally is the cause caused because of the dynamic influence, the dynamic spiritual conceptual agency. That is the word which he has used. And because of which it affects the dynamic vital force, ultimately producing a disorder, which is expressed through the signs and symptoms. The two varieties of diseases which develops, the acute and chronic, the acutes, generally it's very easily when you find it out, right remedy on the basis of totality of symptoms, imperceptibly. But the chronics, they require longer duration of treatment. They disappear with much, dis much a sense of discomfort to the patient. At the same time, one more thing which he has mentioned, it yields either to a one remedy in a different potency or another one or many remedies which are required in order to yield the chronic diseases. So that's what we have discussed in detail. Let us go ahead with the 149, where he again wants to tell you something regarding what happens in specific chronic diseases. So we'll learn <coughs> regarding 149. Diseases of long standing and especially such as are of a complicated character require for their cure a proportionately longer time. Underline this, this is too important. So if, if you are dealing with any chronic disorder, for example, a patient comes to you with a rheumatoid arthritis, long standing, 10 years of duration. How can the patient will settle within a month or within 15 days? It's not possible. If the disease is of a longer time of duration, it requires a little bit time to recover completely. So first important thing, tell all the patients who comes to you for the chronic disorder, tell them that it will take long time to recover. It is not possible to treat that. In today's session, I'm going to show you cases where there are follow-ups up to five years, four years, big, big uh, difficult disorders, all pathological disorders. And pathology takes very long time to develop. Pathology never develops within a day. Pathology happens to be there. It is a long-standing, tedious process with which pathology evolves. So if you, are, if you are treating such types of chronic diseases, first important thing to notify the patient that it will take long time for its recovery. And once it, uh, once patient knows that, then patient continues with the treatment. Many, many mm, doctors, many physicians ask you, they ask me that, doctor, how can it be possible to keep, to the patients are keeping follow-ups for so much longer duration with you. First important thing is that you have to produce the results. Unless and until they find it out results, it is not possible to continue treatment. They, if they see the results in your practice, then definitely they goes on treating the patient for longer time of duration. And this is what Hanuman explains over there. This is of long standing, especially of such, such as are the complicated character required for their cure a proportionately longer time. More especially do the chronic medicinal dyscrasia so often produced by allopathic bungling along with natural disease itself. And natural disease left uncured by it require much longer time for their recovery. So if patient who comes to you who has already taken a lot of allopathic medicines, for example, patient generally comes to you with a rheumatoid arthritis and he has consumed non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, then steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and he becomes steroid dependent. And if he comes to you, yes, how can it be possible to bring that patient into the normal? Because already the susceptibility is disturbed completely. If the susceptibility is lowered, this person will not react so fast. You have to arouse the susceptibility. 
there will be little bit discomfort when you start arousing. When you stop the steroids, it becomes rather a difficult task to stop the steroids. So these, these are the things which happen generally when you deal with the chronics. So chronics will not going to heal very easily. And when specifically the allopathic medicines are added and who has already consumed a lot of allopathic treatment, it becomes a rather a difficult task to cure and ask them that it will take long time to first to remove the allopathic medicines and then gradually take over with the homeopathic medicine. So this is what he's explaining. Natural, disease, natural chronic disease itself requires chronic longer time. But when natural chronic disease is associated with allopathic medication already, there requires much, much, much longer time than that for their recovery. And what he says again, often indeed, are they incurable in consequence of shameful robbery of the patient's strength and juices, many sections and purgative, etc. On account of long continued use of large doses of violently acting remedies given on the basis of MD, false theories for alleged usefulness in cases of disease appearing similar, also in prescribing unsuitable mineral baths, etc. The principal feat performed by allopathy is in its so called methods of treatment. During Hanumanian time, all those methods were prevalent. Whatever may be the chronic disease, they used to use many, many hazardous methods. The simple method which was there to suck the blood of the patient, taking the venous sections, providing her medicines which will produce vomiting or which will produce diarrhea, giving a medicine which will cause sweating. And what happens? Because, because of such types of treatments, there is a there is a loss of vital fluids. The patient's strength is completely lost because of such methods. And if such a patient comes to for a homeopathic treatment, the patient who was already curable earlier now becomes incurable because of all those hazardous methods which they used to use. And this happens many a times. Even today also, if you find it out, that many illiterate people, they never know regarding all those diseases and they go to certain people where they find it out such types of methods. I have seen, when I have one photograph I will share sometime that there, there, is, there are even at just five, six years back that fellow who had a rheumatism had, they had done the application of a burnt um, iron bar over there and there are dots around the swelling and it was very hazardous. So to even in modern era, the people do such types of hazardous treatment and such types of disorders where such method is used, many a times the curable patient becomes incurable and then uh, there is definitely a problem arises. The steroid dependent patients, whenever are there, they are rather difficult to cure. For example, there are many patients who comes to you for homeopathic treatment in S of SLE or they come to you for the ankylosing spondylitis, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, juvenile arthritis, such varieties of cases where you get many a times um, they are steroid dependent. So when such a thing happens, this patient to stop their steroids becomes a difficult task for you. There are not only steroids, but other immunosuppressant drugs are also used, like methotrexates. That is the one drug which is commonly used in such types of cases. Many a times, the chloroquine is also used as a remedy in such photosynth to remove the photosensitivity as well as the immune reaction or immunogenicity. And such, when patient becomes dependent on those drugs, then to remove those drugs and develop homeopathic action of the homeopathic medicine, it becomes rather very difficult task. To treat those patients, it requires a tedious job as well as the patient's confidence and physician's confidence. Both are needed in such types of cases. Because patient will going to call you again and again. He disturbs you because he used to suffer more and more when you start reducing the allopathic doses. When he starts reducing the steroids, they immediately suffers from inflammation because when you remove the steroids, the effect 
acute effect, the primary effect disappears, there is a, definitely a little bit aggravation which happens to be there. And in such types of cases, becomes rather difficult. It, it produces more discomfort to the patient. So to treat such types of diseases with the help of such um, homeopathic medicine, it rather becomes a big task for the physician. So in this aphorism, <clears throat> he tried to explain uh, importance of homeopathy in chronic diseases. And he has explained over there, if you are dealing with chronic diseases, it requires a little bit longer time to recover. And with the help of that, then it is possible to recover completely. So right over there on the aphorism only, one sentence, so that will recollect the aphorism. Chronic diseases proportionately requires longer time to get cured. You write over there, chronic diseases proportionately requires longer time to get cured. And second sentence, which is more important, is chronic diseases mixed with allopathy, medicinal effects. Chronic diseases mixed with allopathy, medicinal effects becomes incurable. So these are the things which are necessary to understand. I think from tomorrow, we'll start, not tomorrow, on Monday, we'll start with the actual homeopathic management. From aphorism number 150 onwards, he has started explaining about the homeopathic management of the diseases. First, he has made a classification. And after the classification, then he started explaining about the management, homeopathic management. So how to manage acute diseases, how to manage chronic diseases, all things comes over there in detail. And how to manage the cases when you don't get a perfect similimum, you, you get the partial similimum, all those things which we have to learn over there from Monday onwards. So the actual practical part comes over there from aphorism 150 onwards. We have to understand them in thorough. So I, today we'll stop over here. And those who have already uh, registered for the Gaurang's platform, pediatric um, cases, those do join today. You learn a lot of things in today's session because I think I will going to share six cases, chronic cases, pathological cases, and how I approached with them and how I treated them. So that will be a sharp at eight o'clock, and it is one and a half hour session. Big session will be there, which will which which will guide you a lot of things how to manage with all those chronic diseases. So I think we'll stop over here. If there are any queries, we'll discuss. Otherwise, we'll con discontinue. Any question? Yes, sir, good evening. <clears throat> good evening, Dr. Rajiv. Mm, sir, uh, uh, in allopathy, when treating uh, hemorrhoids, the, do the doctor is prescribing external application. When the same patient come come to us, they also need the same method of uh, external application. They require us that. Is it mandatory to give external application, sir? You can give for the patient sex. You can use uh, SBL combination is their FP ointment. You can use that as a local. But it will not cure. It is only for the patient satisfaction. Sometimes it removes a little bit pain, definitely. But ultimately, you have to treat hemorrhoids, fissure in nano, fistula in nano, ultimately with the internal homeopathic medicine only. For the patient's sake, you can give the ointments. It doesn't matter. It will not act directly or it will not cause any harm to the patient. Thank you, sir. Yes, Ali. Uh, sir, now you are telling us that allopathic medicine we can't do with the allopathic होम्योपैथिक uh, उसमें तो uh, लेकिन अगर पेशेंट जो है वो कुछ ऐसी मेडिसिन यूज कर रहे हो जो बहुत लंबे अरसे से हो तो हम उसको ग्रेजुअली टेपर ऑफ करेंगे या uh, उसको फौरी तौर पर उनसे कहेंगे कि उसको स्टॉप करें और मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट क्रोनिक हां मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट इज दैट यू हैव टू ग्रेजुअली टेपर यू यू शुड नॉट स्टॉप इट डायरेक्टली 
बट ओनली वन कंडीशन कीप इट इन योर माइंड इफ यू आर ट्रीटिंग फीवर देर शुड नॉट बी डिस्टर्बेंस ऑफ एलोपैथिक मेडिसिन और देर शुड नॉट बी एलोपैथिक मेडिसिन एंड होम्योपैथिक मेडिसिन रन साइमल्टेनियसली इन फीवर केसेस नो If fewer cases, if patient has consumed any antipyretic, don't treat that with homeopathy. Only that condition. Otherwise, in chronic, if patient is dependent on something, you have to taper it gradually. You cannot stop it uh, immediately. If you stop it immediately, it will cause aggravation, because those medicines have already palliated that patient for longer time of duration. And if you try to stop it immediately. the palliation is always followed by an aggravation and patient feels that aggravation is because of your medicine actually it is not the thing the aggravation is because because palliation is always followed by aggravation is the rule that's why it happens so you have to explain to the patient and patient's relative that if there is an aggravation it is because because we are reducing the doses of the medicines which he is consuming so start Uh, tapering it gradually in today session you will learn about it much because today session i am going to share such types of cases where the patient was already there on the um, such types of long standing allopathic medicines right all right so thank you sir okay. anything else okay so we'll conclude today session we'll meet on monday directly with next aphorism and these from 150 aphorisms make your your own notes because that will help you a lot in practice that is a total practical aspect i have mentioned so how to approach in such types of cases that you should not miss so thank you being there and we'll meet again those who are who are already there in the Gaurang's platform will meet at eight o'clock sharp. Thanks a lot.